In this demo, I will show you the multicast configuration when using VDS together with MDT. So configuring MDT to use multicast, it's really, really easy. As long as you have the initial Windows Deployment Services server up and running, it's basically a checkbox. To enable multicast, I will go into my MDT production share, I will go to properties, and I will select this one. Enable multicast for this deployment share. And then I hit OK, and then I need to do an update. Because when doing an update, it will actually create the namespace in Windows Deployment Services for multicast. Now if I go to my Windows Deployment Services console, in multicast transmissions I actually have my MDT share MDT production dollar. Let's go ahead and start a few Pixie clients and then go back and review how they are being deployed. So now I have actually started three different clients deploying them. Let me go to one of them. As you can see this client says running action install operating system and you can see attempting multicast transfer. This label is actually not entirely correct because what it really was supposed to be saying is actually running the multicast transfer because in the background right now it's actually already starting to download the image and it will do that for a while and after the image is fully downloaded then it will extract it to the drive and run setup. So let's go back to the server and see the monitoring of this. So this is the server side. You can see my three different clients and some status about, uh, about them. You can see the download speed, uh, how long in the process they have been downloading that image, etc.